Hi there, guys. Yeah, I'm back, back here doing another video. So I'm just at a park here in the Portland area, um, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But yeah, I just wanted to, yeah, just show you guys a. A, a tobacco really fast. I um, I didn't have uh, much planned uh, this time, but I wanted to I wanted to show you guys this tobacco because it's been out now for I think a few months now, and uh, uh, I've been meaning to talk about it. Mm. So the tobacco is. Um, it's an it's another another vapor um, by uh, Perry Jensen, uh done by Sutliff, and it's this one. Uh, it's whimsical, really nice uh, tin art. Uh, of course, you know it's it's how they do it now on a sticker, uh, but but still the. The tin art is is really nice. Uh, really, you can't see it here in the too well in the in the shadow. But uh, yeah, the colors are very are really vibrant. Of course, it has a bird on it again. The first tobacco um, called Uno uh, also had a bird on it. So they're doing these bird series. Uh, Tobaccos, I guess. It's a it's a signature series um, done by Pierre uh, Jensen. So um, and Sutliff is doing them for him. So they're uh, Sutliff tobacco too. Uh, let me read what it says on the back. I already told you it's a it's a vapor. It says featuring peppery and spicy. True. St. James Perique. This blend is balanced out by red and bright Virginias. A hint of tanginess completes the blend and makes it pleasing alongside the natural Virginia sweetness and zesty St. James Perique. And in the description online, it says they put a little bit of they put a little bit of flavoring on top too. A, a f kind of a Kind of a fruity citrus topping and uh, <clears throat> you can detect that but I don't, but I don't think that's the main the main flavor it's just a uh, it's just to add just a little bit of sweetness and fruitiness to the Virginias uh, just to bring them out a little bit I think uh, and I think I think they have done a really good job doing that because uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't call this an aromatic uh, tobacco at all. Maybe some of you um, purists would consider it that, um, but I don't think it fits in that category. I think it's, uh, I think it's you know, uh, a very natural tobacco, and you can really taste all the natural flavors of the tobacco uh, in there. Uh, but it is, it is sweet, but it has richness and peppery. Uh, it's very complex, I think, uh, for tobacco. Uh, the way the ingredients are, are put together um, already, I think, fresh out of the tin, there's all different kinds of nuances going on. Um, different notes from very high, sweet, fruity, flavorful notes to earthy hay. Not too much hay, but in that uh, I think in that realm, but there's also some deep, uh, like, um, dried fruit, a plum, earthy richness, uh, and a deepness to it. So it, it really has a lot of everything in it, uh, already, I think, fresh out of the tin. And I think, uh, aging this for a few years, um, would be interesting to see what happens to it um, if if some of that is lost or if it's um, or if it even gains more 
depth, width to it. Uh, so that would be interesting uh, to see uh, for this tobacco. Let me show you this tobacco though. It's a, it's a cake tobacco. So, and I've, you know, so there's not much, not much to show, but yeah, see it's just one cake and I've probably smoked about half of it already. So I really wanted to show you guys uh, this tobacco before I smoked it all. Uh, and before it, uh, you know, has just been out so long that everyone's already tried it. So I just wanted to get this out. So in case someone wanted to, wanted to, wanted to know what it was like before they, they went out and, and purchased it. So it's a really quality tobacco because it's, uh, this type of a cake, I think, uh, it could be a little difficult or a little bit more challenging for a beginner. I think this cake has a tendency when you're um, going to break it up that you can you can really tend to break it up too much. Uh, you just need to be really careful. Just pulling, just loosening it really uh, is really all you need to do. Just really loosen some of the compact uh, parts and try not to break it up too much because then you'll really get sawdust because uh, this doesn't really break up into you know into very long pieces at all so if you work on it too much you'll you'll get dust and then you could have some problems uh, but if you just just uh, go slow and, and just kind of loosen it up and kind of let it fall apart itself uh, then it just smokes really good um, there's no harshness uh, no bitterness to it. It just it smokes uh, with good flavor all the way down to the bottom. So really impressed with this uh, good quality tobacco. Uh, but of course it's a vapor. Uh, there is there is some uh, peppery notes from the preak, but it's not overpowering. It's very well balanced uh, smoke. It doesn't leave uh, it doesn't leave really an aftertaste in your mouth. Um, too much at all. I mean, it's um, it's just very smooth. Uh, so there's there's not going to be any kind of um, bitterness or strange aftertaste or anything like that. Uh, nothing that's going to be concerning or bothering uh, to you. But, um, but like I said, it does have perique. So if you're not into the perique uh, and you don't like Virginias, of course you're not going to like this because it's a you know that's the that's the main players in this, uh, but I think they really complement each other well, and uh, they really uh, they really come together well and make a really good blend. And the tobaccos that they use must be very very good quality uh, tobaccos because they just they just smoke really well and, and behave really well uh, in in your pipe. Uh, they're not going to be too too rowdy in any way or, or whatever, too frustrating, uh, yeah, in the, in the way they perform, uh, the way they burn stuff. So it's a quality tobacco if you like, uh, if you like vapors, uh, uh, and especially if you're interested in, in smoking cakes or, or some other, uh, really, uh, a different type of a cut, this is a really interesting blend, uh, I think. To, to try so uh, yeah so give it a shot uh, this uh, this one's the second one out uh, called whimsical yeah funny names uh, yeah it's fine though uh, but beautiful tin art uh, they're coming out with these um, these new tobaccos so uh, yeah whimsical uh, a vapor by um, by Per Jensen and uh, done by Sutlef and uh, yeah just a good quality tobacco uh, just came out a couple months ago so I just wanted to let you guys know about that so uh, yeah one more thing I wanted to say and it's it's somewhat related to uh, yeah a bird that's kind of why I was out here I was watching uh, 
week or a week or so ago. I, I don't remember when, but I was watching a a video. I don't get a lot of time to watch uh, YouTube videos, but I was watching a video um, done by uh, uh, I think 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. I think that's I think I got the full name right. Um, and he was talking about uh, uh, an application on the f on your phone uh, that you can get get on your phone, and it's uh, it's called Merlin. Uh, and so I looked it up because his discussion of it was pretty interesting. Uh, and you can download uh, this app, and you can record sounds uh, in your neighborhood or, or wherever wherever you are. Um, you just have to download portions of, uh, I guess, the area of where you are. Uh, is It's done in certain certain sections of where you are. And uh, as long as you do that, you can go out and record sounds of the birds that are around you. And they will identify uh, identify them by their, their song or their, their sound. Their, yeah. So... I don't know if on the video you can hear there's many birds around here in the in the forest behind me in the in the park uh, in the it's a city park but there's still lots of birds uh, and I've tried this um, around in uh, quite a few areas uh, already and it's very interesting uh, yeah so that's why I'm here at the park with this tobacco uh, yeah whimsical yeah. So it's all about birds again, but I just thought that would be uh, uh, something interesting to to pass on if, if any of you are, uh, yeah, interested in in birds at all and uh, identifying what birds are around you uh, in your area. So you can either do it at your house or at a park or yeah, wherever you are. So, anyways. So I thought that was interesting. The tobacco is interesting and uh, didn't want to keep too long on this one. So I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are uh, smoking good tobacco wherever you are. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope everyone down uh, in Florida and the and, uh, the, the southeast coast um, of the U.S. region are doing all right from uh, yeah from the hurricane that came through uh, a few days ago and uh, yeah I hope everyone's all right uh, it seems like the devastation was pretty bad and there has been uh, a few lives lost so um, but anyways, yeah, I don't want to, uh, yeah, I don't want to dwell on painful things here. Uh, I just wanted to, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm thinking about, um, thinking about you guys down there, and um, yeah, hoping, hoping the cleanup and and uh, everything goes goes smoothly, and uh, getting back to things. So, anyways, you guys just. Uh, yeah, enjoy your your day. Uh, enjoy a good tobacco and a pipe, and relax, and uh, and uh, go listen to some birds if you like. All right. Anyways, guys, take care. We'll talk to you again.